Hello everyone. The origin of today's video is based on a question that I received from my last blog post where I was showing how to build a selection or a pull down list for your attributes and your property sets. And the question was, well, that's nice that you can do a pull down list, but what if I want to link my property set attributes out to an external file like an Excel spreadsheet or an access database? So I knew I'd seen it done before, so I did a little testing. And I know there's a few workflows out there, but here's one that uh, could help. So to start with, I have some polyline data here in the file. And if I select these uh, polylines, you'll see I have no property set data attached. And I'm going to show you a quick Excel spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet that has some owner information and assessment value for these parcels or for some of the parcels. And we're going to link that data using property sets. So we'll go to manage and define property sets. And if you are walking into this code, you haven't seen the previous videos, I'd uh, encourage you to go back and watch my co-blogger, Jeff Bartles. He walks through the basics of property sets in a couple videos. And then, as I mentioned, my last blog post was uh, getting into the uh, creation of a pull down list. So your attributes would all be in a list for the user when they were assigning uh, attribute data to objects. So the same thing from uh, previous videos, we're just going to go new. And I'll call this parcel. And under applies to, I'm only worried about polylines here. So I'm just going to select polylines. Remember, I'll select any and all objects that may need to consume these, this particular property set definition. So I'll just turn on polyline here, go to definition, and we're going to create two manual property definitions to match those two columns in the Excel spreadsheet. So the first one was called owner and we're not going to match them by name. We're going to physically link them, but I'm just going to call these similar names. And we're going to leave both the types to text here. And normally in the default, we would enter some default value that the user would see as they access and added these attributes to an object. But this is where we can actually go and connect to a database. So if I right click, I can go to the insert field command. And all this does is open the same thing as typing in field and go into the regular AutoCAD field command. So it's just a shortcut. And notice here, if we scroll down to the database field, that's what I'm using. You can already see I have one set up, but I'm going to build a new path here so you can see how it's done. So I'm going to go to a 32 bit data link because I have 32-bit office, and I'm going to pick the ODBC provider. And we're going to use a connection string, and we're going to build that string, and we're going to hit new here for the DNS or DSN. And we're going to come down to the Microsoft Excel driver, and we're going to give it a name. Just call it Excel. Next, finish. And now we select the Excel file. So I'm going to select here. Probably not a good idea to have this open, so I'm going to close that really quickly before I select it. There it is. OK. And we'll hit OK and then OK. OK out of here. And we're going to do a blank password and we're going to select it here. There's the Excel file. Test the connection. It's good. We hit OK. So now you can see we have a connection or data link to that sheet. You can see the sheet numbers here only have one in that. That's a simple Excel file. So now we're still, remember, we're going through the style manager here. So what value would we want to add to the objects? Well, we don't want to assign any of these because they're all specific. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to leave this selected database field. I'm not going to select anything here and hit OK. So you, you should see the pounds here. And I'll do the same thing for assessment, insert field, make sure database field is selected, and hit OK. So that just makes it available. So now we'll hit OK. And now we're going to assign that property set definition to all the parcels. So we select all of these, go to the extended data tab under properties, add property set definition, which one? Parcel. Okay, deselect. So now they all have the parcel selected. So now we could go and make our assignments. So if I select this parcel, it's the biggest. So we'll go 
into the assessment field and I'm just going to double click my cursor and it takes me right into the field command and the biggest parcel here is 230,000 notice how this bodes when I select it I can hit OK notice it drops it in there for the owner I'll double click and select the owner name and we could do the same for the neighboring parcel we could double click we could pick 210,000 assessment and the owner and OK so now as I select these of course that attribute will ride with that particular object but the great thing is now we have a database connection so if I go in back into that Excel file and remember we assigned the Jones so let's say that that owner we added a little bit more info that's Glenn Jones and that value changed and it's actually 280,000 so as soon as we hit save and we re-enter the command for that parcel you can see the updated so we have a live connection with that uh, spreadsheet so I hope this answered the question and I hope this uh, maybe gives you a couple tips on connecting some outside data directly into your property set attributes have a great day